Welcome, welcome again to another Property Thursday, and uh, this really is uh, second time around, um, and I'm absolutely delighted to be to be hosting this because we've got a very special guest with us today, um, and I hope you're all going to enjoy it. So, who have we got on today? We've got Ian Cohen, Sales Director of City and Docklands, the biggest developer. Ian, am I right in saying the biggest de developer in London? Uh, one of the biggest developers. One of the biggest, sorry. Um, we've also got Robert Fraser, Manager Director of Fraser's, who are and great ambassadors and great partners with, with Holden. We've been uh, associated together for, for a number of years, and it's great to have him. And I know I say this every week, but Ahmed, uh, <laughs> welcome. And I Thank say you. it every week, but uh, Ahmed and I used to work together um, a few years back. So I'm delighted. And this is going to be such a launch. You've got, you've got that image in front of you, One West Point. 54 levels, only resi. There's no hotel in there, hotel or, or, or hospital or anything else. This is pure resi um, uh, on the outside of London in uh, in Acton. So really delighted to to, to launch that today. Um, over to you, Robert. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, I want to introduce, introduce um, Fraser & Co. I set up Fraser & Co. in 1995 as um, a specialist that sells new and modern developments in and around London. Um, since then, I set this business up from home. Since then, we have a staff of about 60 individuals um, in four offices in London with associate offices in Hong Kong, Singapore, and throughout the Middle East. Um, our specialist subject is new developments. We look after the prospective investors as and when they complete the property. We then look to look after them for many, many years by uh, the netting and management and resell of their uh, property um, in, in and around the London area. Um, and we have a lot of partnerships throughout um, various different places throughout the world, like Hoban, that we like to work with that introduce their clients to us and they're given a very special personal service. Um, one of the developments that um, uh, we are now working on is One West Point. And as a company, we've been working with City and Docklands for a number of years, selling their developments throughout the United Kingdom and international. Um, we've had a, built up a very special relationship um, and as a company, they've gone from working on smaller developments to building what are basically are now London landmarks. Um, so without much further ado, let me introduce you to um, Ahmed Bagbani, one of our sales team that has been tasked to, to work on this development. Um, and we'll be also working in our sales office from hopefully from next month. You've got quite a catalogue of developments behind you uh, and some iconic buildings in London. Um, Certainly have, yeah. It's an amazing, it's an amazing I, I did some research earlier on, amazing company. Well, one of our, our biggest prior development, our biggest prior development was 650 units in the London Docklands called Lanterns Court. And that was done at difficult times in the economy. Uh, well, actually, good times and bad times, but, um, yeah, I mean, Lancers Court was hugely successful, sold out very, very quickly. And then we had a debacle with the Irish government uh, and the Irish um, buyers all couldn't get mortgages. And then so we re-sorted the whole thing out and we um, got everyone through. And so out of 650, every single unit completed. So we're very delighted and very proud of that one. Um, and that's a wonderful, wonderful site that's still up and running. Another uh, lovely development that we've recently completed is the Pump House, which is in Excel, which is a 23 story building overlooking the dock. Absolutely su super building. It was very, very highly regarded, won some great awards, uh, design awards, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I mean, there are, I can list, I can list a whole load of developments. <laughs> we've developed something in the region of about 4,000 units over the last 20 odd years. Um, we started off as, uh, Ahmed said, we started off small. We have really grown now to a size where, you know, this particular site where we've got a 54 story tower, um, which is quite special on its own. It's creating a, a legacy just 
by the fact of saying 54 storey tower. Um, but it's in West London, which, as we all know, West London is probably a little bit more in people's minds than East London or South London. So West London still has a great deal about it. It has the je ne sais quoi, as they say. <laughs> um, but we, you know, we're quite delighted with what we're doing now because we're building 706 units on the site. Um, and this was actually, believe it or not, it was our head office. When we moved in there 16 years ago, it was a head office. We had a furniture company which ran alongside our development company called John Strand. So people were very welcome to look at that on the, on the web and see all about it. We were the biggest um, furniture package providers for people who were buying in the UK. So we were doing something in the region of about 1,200 to 1,500 um, apartments per year with furnishing. So that's why we bought this site. And we were told at the time when we bought the site, you'll never get planning permission for residential. You know, it's, a, it's an industrial, it's this, that. Anyway, suffice to say that about eight, well, no, about 10 years later, the Ca Ealing Council actually came to us, the head of their planning department came to us and said, would you be interested in turning this into a residential block? And we said, uh, yeah, we think we would. And with that, then Carphone Warehouse, um, as you know, and you can read about, has been taken over now by Imperial College. Um, again, a wonderful university that sits on the top level of the universities in the world, just behind uh, Cambridge and Oxford. They're next to us, they've got a 16 acre site. They're gonna be spending a billion pound on their development to create something very unique as well. So all in all, this whole location where we are, North Acton, is starting to grow day by day into something very, very special. Um, That's amazing. That's amazing. And, and then looking at the proportions and the size, it's almost Dubai-ish, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, shall I take out <laughs> and sign you for one, Chris? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I want a floor. That's how we do it in Dubai. We have a whole floor. <laughs> well, you're very uh, welcome, we my friend. Ahmed, are we good to go? We're, we're good to go. Sorry about um, that, guys. That's all right. That's and you can just, just to confirm, you can see the current screen, right? I can see a screen uh, blank. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. City and Dodlands are proud to present. There we go. There we go. There we go. One second, guys. There you go. One West Point. An iconic development which sits proudly at the heart of the UK's most exciting regeneration project, with over £29 billion pounds of public and private money at Old Oak Common. One West Point will offer the sure tallest sure. residential accommodation in London outside of the Dodlands. With 701 beautifully designed homes across four sensational buildings set amongst tranquil landscape gardens, the graceful glass-fronted pair of towers stand impressively in this landscape and will be West London's most exciting residential landmark. The tallest of the four towers, West 54, will offer 362 highly specified one, two and three bedroom apartments, each with a private balcony and all providing a luxury lifestyle. Each apartment has been designed to offer exceptionally bright living spaces and has gardens integrated into the amenity and entertainment interiors. One West Point offers a lifestyle like no other, with beautifully designed homes linked by quality amenity spaces. In addition to the most majestic views, One West Point will provide a myriad of concierge and leisure offerings. The area, which will sit proudly alongside the OPDC, will host the only high-speed rail interchange where HS2 and Crossrail services connect, and will also be home to a community and new campus for Imperial College. City and Dublin's are proud to... Right. right. <laughs> well, Sorry about that. There. We, we got, got there in there. the end. There was uh, slightly some issues with the um, <laughs> technical difficulties. We'll, we'll send out, I'll tell you what, we'll send out the recording when we send out the recording. How about exactly. that? Exactly. We, we've got the links to the videos. We've got links to everything else. So you'll be able to see all of that as well. Um, just to confirm, you can still um, see my screen, guys. Yep. Yeah, with the red arrow. Yeah. There you go. Right. Um, so, yeah. 
thanks for that, Chris. And going back on to um, One West Point, um, just some brief points of it. Um, as um, Ian touched on it earlier, and so did Chris, it will be the tallest residential tower um, rising 50 floor, uh, 54 floors outside of Canary Wharf. Uh, this really is an exceptional um, development um, location, again, with the regeneration of Old Oak Common and HS2 Crossrail being touching distance, um, which is a 26 billion pound of regeneration that um, is being taken care of at the moment in the area. HS2 and Old Oak Common is set to be completed in 2026. Um, current journey times um, with Crossrail will be just six minutes to Paddington, um, nine minutes to Bond Street Station, and 23 minutes to Canary Wharf. Um, this will be a, a super hub where you've got HS2 Crossrail overground and also the central line, all within um, touching distance of less than a 10 minute walk away from um, One West Point. Estimated completion again for this development is taking place towards the end of this year, Q4, um, going into yeah. Q1, Next Q2. Year. Next year. Q4, sorry, Q4 2022 to Q1 2023, um, with average rental yields um, coming up to around sort of circa 5%. Um, in terms of local regeneration that we've got as well, um, you've got the, the part of the 26 billion pound master plan, the largest regeneration in Europe. Um, the whole regeneration area is across um, 1,600 acres, um, and you've got 113,000 businesses in West London, over a 30% growth since 2012. You've got a three billion pound new campus for Imperial College, uh, which is ranked. Um, first in the UK and eighth in the 2021 World University Rankings. Just um, touching back on um, university, um, sorry, Imperial College University um, College in London, um, it hosts around 19,000 students, including 10,000 undergraduates in its campuses. The principle of um, focus is on uh, four main areas, science, engineering, medicine, and business. Um, student nationality remains uh, predominantly from outside the UK with 64%, um, with 21% uh, of that from the Far East and China. Um, Imperial is home to the greatest concentration of high impact research with a framework ahead of any other major UK university. Um, Times Higher Education 2020 ranked Imperial College as one of the world's top 10 universities with an international student body of 56%. The new, uh, the new campus also um, is partnered with China's um, Zizang University to elevate um, transnational um, entrepreneurship with boosting the Chinese student population by around 40 to 50 percent. Um, by tw um, 2022, um, Imperial College uh, will have completed a 13-year transformation of White City, a 3 billion 25-acre campus complex created to provide an unprecedented new research quarter for the capital. Um, just bearing in mind, Imperial College is just currently four minutes um, journey times to White City, where Imperial College is located, which will naturally, um, in terms of the student population, is constantly increasing. Um, and it's over, and it's currently offering, well, it's rewarding 6,700 deg um, degrees every year to students. <clears throat> Um, expected London house prices increase, as you can see from the chart here, um, we're expecting that in the next five years to grow by another 21% um, across London in general. Why invest in one West Point? Um, you've got 21.6% property price ex um, expected to increase um, by 2025. You've got 14% contributes to the capital employment needs up to, um, up to 2031. 11% average forecast growth during build. This is, the, this is the main point that you want to be looking at as well. You know, you're buying off plan, which is always a question that, you know, why buy off plan? Are you paying for it? Or, you know, what's the situation with this? You're expected to have 11% growth um, by time of completion taking place with average yields across W3 estimated to be about 4.5%. And just touching back on um, Imperial College uh, with White City, uh, White City is currently trading at 1,500 pounds a square foot. You know, and this is a four, it's a four, um, four minute journey ride on the tube or a 10 minute short drive across 
um, with an estimated 15.3% uh, rental prices set to grow between now and the opening of Queen Elizabeth Line um, next year. Touching back on journey times, um, with one West Point, you're, you're in this um, sort of the HS2 and Crosswell um, Super Hub with the 1.3 billion pound regeneration of um, Old Oak Common, the Super Rail. Um, again, journey times, which is the main important thing here, you've got the central line taking you into central London. Um, Birmingham journey times from HS2 um, will, and Crossroad, in fact, um, it's going to be just, uh, just over 30 minutes to Birmingham. And then you've got there, um, Bond Street, nine minutes, Liverpool Street, 16 minutes, White City, four minutes. I've got to say, Arlo, this is a breath of fresh air because, as you know, we do these every week. We have Birmingham, you're mentioning there, Manchester, Liverpool, York. Um, and it's so nice to, to come back down to, to London and have something uh, this mighty to send out. And I'm looking at uh, our attendees. We've got a lot on from Hong Kong, um, our office over there. So I know this is going to appeal to them. So thanks, Wendy, for the kind comments. Sorry, Ahmed, I just thought I had my bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just touching back on what Ian said earlier as well. Um, they've owned the land for over 20 years. They weren't looking to um, build residential. They just didn't think they were going to get planning. Owning a land for 20 years reflects truly um, on the prices that they're currently looking to, looking to um, market these properties for. And then if you're looking at the car phone warehouse, one billion um, pound re, uh, regen sort of project, which they're looking to do the re regeneration on, They've owned that land for around six years. So immediately you're looking, you're already looking to buy in a, at a better price point with one West Point in regards to the future developments when they've owned the land for a shorter period of time and the margins will be hugely different to be honest with you to City and Docklands. Amenities in terms of the development, um, it's phenomenal. Um, you've got a 24 hour concierge, full suite of services, private dining, private bar with adjoining courtyard lounge, and you've got branded coffee, you've got yoga, meditation, and holistic suites, fully equipped gyms, private multifunctional screening rooms, children soft play retreat, you've got doggy daycares. Ian, just touching on doggy care and daycares, um, does it, are pets allowed within the development? Yeah. They will be, yeah. Fantastic. They'd have to be a certain, under a certain size. They can't be giant. <laughs> yeah. We've, we've taken this up uh, really from our um, surveys and everything that we've done in New York. And New York is growing rapidly with do doggy daycare uh, facilities inside these blocks. Obviously the working population would like to have dogs, but they, you know, they've been restricted from it in, in blocks of apartments or whatever. So we've taken a, a thing, a huge step here and we're gonna go, go for the doggy daycare Alongside, we're going to give permission to have small pets, in, small dogs inside an apartment. I don't like cats, so we won't have cats. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what, and about, got the... what about llamas? Is a, is a llama that needs a good home over there? Yeah, well, yeah, I could bring her down from, yeah, I'm sure she could come <laughs> right the way down on the train now. Yeah, just keep it isolated. Yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, and again, going back on the amenities, I mean, look, what, what again, City and Doctors are um, trying to do, um, I've not, obviously in Dubai, you've got the residential towers there, you've got the facilities. This is on, a, on another scale of quality. Um, you have everything here on your doorstep. And again, touching, if you look at where Canary Wharf was 30 years ago, um, and there were, you know, there, there wasn't much residential. It was an industrial area. It was right. you know, the banks, et cetera. And now you look, you go to Canary Wharf now, you're going to see constant towers, residential towers going up. Price points, again, you're, you're not going to realistically look. I mean, Barclay Home have a development there at the moment was trading at 15, circa £1,500 a square foot. Yeah. Um, these, these weren't the prices 30 years ago. Now you know, were, I had, sorry, can I just interrupt yeah, you there? Yeah. I was involved in the Docklands in the 80s in, in property. And I can tell you that property was around about £350 per square foot at the top end. So that gives you an idea. So if you, we said to people at those times, come on guys, if you buy now, very good time to buy. And then people did not buy at that particular time because they didn't, you know, didn't believe in it, didn't understand the whole infrastructure that was being put in place. So what happened was the people who did, who did buy, obviously 
did extremely well because when you buy early in a regen or regeneration area, I should say, when you buy early, you know, you're allowed that the capital growth that you make is substantial during the building time, during the time the infrastructure goes in and during the time all the PR and everything else starts to happen around it and growth just happens overnight. Whereas if you go in at an early stage, that's where you're hoping to achieve the real growth. So substantial growth during the build program, during the time of the rebuild of the regeneration area, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry, I interrupted. That's right. Um, and that is in terms of One West Point, again, it is the first residential tower going up in, in, in Acton area with the part of the regeneration of Old Oak Common and, and Park Royal itself. Um, touching on, on the other point that I was going to mention as well, um, you've got, let me one second, sorry. <laughs> Isn't it right? It's the third largest, the tallest tower in, in London, no, anyway. It, it's correct. It is. Um, it's yeah. just um, shorter than the BT Tower itself. Um, taller, it rises taller than the Gherkin um, currently. That's some fantastic right, let views. Just, isn't let it? me just put the actual factual data on that. It is the sixteenth <laughs> tallest building in London, and that's behind buildings like these huge commercial offerings that are in the city of London, that are in Doc, uh, Canary Wharf in Docklands. But it is the largest residential tower in terms of height of units and height of floors, should we say, to 54 floors. It's the highest residential tower in London outside of the Docklands. So in West London, South London, North London, it is the tallest building for residential only in London, okay? Absolutely. And again, Acton itself, um, where One West Point is located, it's, it's currently sitting obviously far cheaper um, than the nearby Chiswick and Ealing. Correct. Uh, so, you know, for the, for the patient buyer, this, you know, Acton is the place to invest in, um, in my opinion. Because you will, you'll, you know, you sit there patiently and you'll see Acton, and well, from hopefully from the from the 54th floor, you will see the area grow massively over the course of the next 25 to 30 years, uh, with major works um, going in, going into to the area in terms of regeneration. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, in terms of the um, current obviously facilities, as we touched upon, um, you know you've got huge huge amenities within the developments um, of One West Point going through the um, the gymnasium. Um, these are the current photos that we've just taken of the show apartments within the developments. Um, and as Robert touched earlier, we will be based at One West Point. There is a marketing suite there. So, you know, if anyone, you know, if your cons um, consultants wanted to um, send clients or clients wanted to come down, we will be based there seven days a week, um, you know, to take appointments. And we've got a huge um, marketing uh, materials that we'll use, which we will send out to you, Chris and the team. Um, where you will find the links to, to the investment guides, you will find the links to the to the video that we sent, um, virtual um, shows of the apartments, current views. Um, we've actually got the drone footage as well of what the um, what it looks like there currently, which is fantastic. So you can see, you know, you don't need to worry about the building going up or not because it is already up. Again, going back, this is the current same photos of the of the two bedroom show apartments. Sorry, can I just stop you one minute, Ahmed? Yeah. We've got lots and lots of, you know, handheld, if you like, taken photos already of the building going up. And every time um, Sarah, who is our construction site manageress, or manager, sorry, um, she would take uh, pictures all the time. So we've got those all on a WhatsApp basis. So any of your clients who are listening to this uh, webinar now would like to see the views from the... 30th floor, the 50th floor, we've got some real gen the genuine actual views taken from the platform. And you can see the platform when obviously when the photos are taken. So they're not CGI's, they're real photos. So we're happy to send those out to anybody who'd like to see any of the articles, yeah? Fantastic, thank you, Ian. Now, the other and thing easy. I was gonna say, Ahmed, is um, yeah. anybody watching, um, you know, we're more than happy to do the Zooms, aren't we? With wealth yeah, managers, absolutely. with clients, um, we're, we're happy to jump on 24-7 um, and go through and answer any particular questions. So, you know, it's great to have all the marketing stuff and videos, but 
know, we, we can know. obviously we, we can we can sit down one to one with clients via Zoom. Um, we can myself and my colleagues will be more than happy to go. Um, obviously, I'll be based there. If the colleagues want to go down, we can do virtual viewings. We can you know set up a FaceTime video call or whatever it may be, um, and you can see what amazing um, development this really is. Um, it really is changing the, the skyline in West London massively. Uh, you know, it's currently sitting there, but with, with this tower going up, it's going to be a phenomenal change to that skyline as well. It's up to 47 floors at the moment. Yeah, and the views are exceptional. I was actually there um, about four weeks ago. Weather was amazing, and you really do see all the way far towards the city. Um, you've got Wembley Stadium towards the west. You can see it. it the views are exceptional. It's, um, it's unrivaled, to say the least. It is, yeah. Again, you can see the, the quality finishes within the developments as well. And um, this is the three bedroom show, um, show apartment that's currently live. Um, in terms of the um, investment guide, um, we, we have got a, a very fully in depth investment guide, um, which if you would like to receive it, just send me an email and contact details are here. And what I'll do is I'll send it over to you and then with any questions again, to go through them in more detail. Over to you, Ian. Yeah, hi everyone. Sorry, I, I talk quite a lot anyway, so I'm sure you've all heard, you've all heard me talking. I hadn't noticed, Dean. I hadn't. Noticed. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Um, I'll get you back with that one. Um, yeah, I mean, City of Docklands have been developing now for uh, for 23 years, I think it is. I think it's 23 years. We started off small, like it, you know, like most of the developers did in those days. We bought a couple of units and sold a couple of units, and then somebody gave us the opportunity to buy a block. Well, I think it was 48 apartments um, and we bought the whole thing and we were managed to put the, put the whole thing together and um, create some sort of uh, buying um, situation with it. And we ended up selling the whole thing. So that's where we started. And then we did our first major development called Canary Central. Um, and we did a joint venture with a company called Galliard Homes, who I'm not sure whether any of you have heard of or haven't heard of. Again, they're quite active London developers. Um, and we're very close in, in terms of, oh, look, I've got those. I didn't realise that I'd given you those particular developments. Um, but Canary Central was 480 units, and that was very successful for us. We bought the site. Um, we actually managed to, uh, with Galliard, develop the site. In other words, build the construction all completely, and we sold every unit in it. So that's where, <coughs> that's where our success sort of started from. Um, and now, since those days, we've moved on quite considerably. Um, I think we've actually done more than 2654 homes now. I think this is actually old. But because um, you can see there, it says develop, delivery of 2,654 2, homes. I think we've actually de delivered over 3,000. 3, um, and we've got for, a further 4,000 um, properties under management because we own a company in London called Life Residential. Again, we started very much on the back of our developments because we were uncomfortable with letting agents in London. We didn't feel that we would have the, you know, the, the total, uh, if you like, in, in, total embracement of the, um, of the letting agents when we had stock that we were solely geared for and we didn't trust them to be able to do everything for us. So we opened our own um, operation and it's turned into a very successful company and it's actually got nearer 5,000 units now under management um, than, uh, than 4,000. But it's a very successful operation. And we, we understand an overseas buyer's total requirement when they buy one of these apartments. From the fact that we own the furniture company, from the fact that we own a letting company, and now we're developers of the final product, we totally get what people are looking for. In other words, you know, you don't want to buy anything that you can't, you know, you say, well, what do I do next? What do I do with the rental? What do I do with the furnishings? And, you know, we don't want to see people sort of crumble under the pressures of buying a property, which doesn't seem a lot, but there are pressures when you're buying a property overseas, certainly three or four, three, four or five, 6,000 miles away, there are great pressures. So you want to have faith in the company at the other end who can actually genuinely give you what's called a one stop shop and that's what we've tried to create over the years and that's been our sort of lifeblood and our, 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 our leading um, comment to everyone we will create a one-stop shop for you so you can 
have everything under one roof and you don't have to hopefully get too stressed about it because you know initially even under lettings um program you know people won't get any information every month on what they've achieved with the rentals and all the different things that go through this and they create you know stress to the other person sitting at the other end who sometimes is not as laid back as you know some of us are when it comes to money and they get very stressed out by it so we've created something that we hope will look to all of those um, blessings, <laughs> should we say. But one West Point, I think is our legacy. It's certainly been created with that idea in mind because we never had a dream that we could ever um, develop this site. When we first bought it, it was as a, as I said, as a headquarters for our furniture company. And there were 10 different units on the site. There was units one to 10. We had different um, people buy the units. We had one of the Queen's actual underwear producers, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know David, you know little David, don't you, Robert? Oh, sure. he, was, he was in there. And then we had Amazon, <laughs> Amazon uh, Books and everything else. They had two other units. So we had a lot of different um, clientele in there. So when we actually got the permission to be able to build this particular development, well, for us, it really is a, it's a legacy. It's a one time in your life opportunity to create something very, very special. And you will be very proud to leave, you know, behind this remnants when we're old and gone and whatever, and our children look at this particular development and all the surrounding developments and hopefully turn around and say to their mates, well, my dad built, built that or my dad's mate built that, you know, cause that's what we're trying to create. This is a, a legacy that we hope that you'll enjoy and any questions you have for it, I'm sure Ahmed will answer. But as a developer, we're always on the end of a telephone or the, on an email if anybody has any questions that they would like answered by us. But we're more than delighted to help in any way we can. Hope that helps. Uh, Ian, it's just amazing to see your enthusiasm. And it must be a really proud moment for you just to drive past it every day and have a look at it and think, that's me. I did that. Must I'll be amazing. Chris, it's, very, it's actually a very funny moment because the amount of calls we get from mates, we, we, Gary and I are big, Gary's the CEO, by the way, guys, in case you did, if I say that, but Gary and I are big cyclists. So we do a lot of cycling for charity organizations. And so we've grown over the last 17 years, we've done a lot of uh, these charity bike rides around the world. And we've got great mates out of it who every so often, I get another mate phoning me up and saying, Oh my, I would use the language that they use, but I won't on an open forum. Oh my God, what are you building, you guys? Because they're obviously associating it with themselves. I mean, it really is something you can see from virtually everywhere. The vista is amazing. When you're coming along to work towards Wembley Stadium, you can see it as you go across the, the, the A406, across the bridge, you can see this mammoth, this mammoth building. And it's not even, it's, it's about 78, 77% up, up now. It's got another 20 odd, 23%. It is just an incredible landmark location. Sorry, I keep talking. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. I don't know, who's next? We haven't got any prices yet. Price points, we're going to see um, in terms of the price points. I mean, you've got, they're starting from circa, I think it's 556,000 um, for the one beds. Um, I mean, rising up, it, it, they vary in price points. I mean, we, we will send you the price points, um, the full price list availability across to go through the units individually, um, along with the um, floor plans. Like I said, the marketing stuff that we have is exceptional. So you can click. I mean, the, on... the, the, sound, the sound went a bit funny then. I don't know why. Sod's law. You hear but, me now? Um, yeah, no, prices from? Uh, 556,000. Right, okay. Um, uh, for the one bedroom. Going... And the big one, I mean, presumably penthouses at the top? Or are... Yeah, correct. I mean, we've got, for example, 50, uh, unit 5302. Um, it's a two-bed, two-bath um, sitting on the 53rd floor. Um, and that's, um, in terms of the square footage, it's 774 square feet um, and 915,000, which is bringing okay. you around £1,100 a square foot. Um, but again, net intern that's a net internal measurement. That's not including the balcony. Correct. And, in, and again, talking on the price point, £1,100 square foot, four minutes um, into White City, you're, you're for the same unit on a much lower floor, 
maybe on the seventh or eighth floor, you'd be paying about fifteen hundred pounds square foot with no views. And, and um, can I ask you payment plans, exchange of contracts on, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. How does that work? Um, with the payment terms of this, it's, it's currently we're um, we're reviewing it at the moment with Ian. Um, it, with for Holborn client um, exclusively, it will be ten percent on exchange with ten percent further in six months' time, with a balance wow. on completion. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the, those we will review that. Um, but Ian, you you're in terms of payment terms, you um, as we, we're flexible, right? You know, in terms of cases. As a developer, as a developer, we we you know we're a private company basically. We're not governed by uh, public. Um, if you like recompense, but anyway, so what we have to do uh, is get a certain thing that we're comfortable with and we're very comfortable working with our clients. So if anyone's got any issues about what they can or can't do at a certain time and they can't do the 10% on that month or they can do 5% on that, you know, talk to us because we, we don't want to lose a deal over something silly. If somebody has got the money, then we're happy to do a deal. So, in terms of how it's structured, we work with you. That's great. Um, and um, uh, the question that always comes up is at my screen at the moment, mortgages, um, I'm anticipating 65, 70? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 65, I think 70, 70, 70, you'll be, you should be absolutely fine with it. Yeah, I mean, we, we're working with um, mortgage uh, brokers who specialize in towers effectively and off plan sales. So, we can potentially have an agreement in principle for, for your prospective um, clients um, before they even reserve. Yeah. And of course, uh, Holden, we've got Darren and Donna uh, and they're yeah. on hand um, to, to do exactly that. So no, yeah. re really good, really, really exciting. I've really enjoyed doing that. I've enjoyed meeting you, Ian, even if it didn't work out so well two weeks ago. <laughs> well, I, saved, I saved you all up for today, Chris. There you go. Yeah, you've been rehearsing, I can tell. I've been sitting here on my screen for 24 hours a day for 14 days. <laughs> well, this is being recorded um, and we'll be getting it out. And then you can obviously find other ones that we've done previously um, on our uh, on Holborn Assets Property webpage. Um, anything, no other questions? So anything more from you guys? Uh, not from us, but again, in terms of... Um, the information that we provided that are consent to the links to the marketing and investment guides, the price list, the fact sheets, um, development photos, drone footage. We have all of it. So and, um, and, just, just, and it's on our portal already. It's oh, amazing. So you're already well, Holden, Can I just Holden ask book. one question, Ahmed? Have you yes. got the Have you got the re, what we call our Revo model, the three D model? I do. I think that's hugely important that you make sure that everybody understands how to use it because it's such a great tool to be able to see the building and all of the communal areas and the amenity space down below. It shows you everything and it's hugely important that people it, do it, get to see it. It would take, it would take me two seconds. If, um, if we've got time, Chris, I can just quickly show you the revo model that we have. And can you send that to Carl and we can get it on the portal? Sounds good. It, it, it should have already received it. Um, but okay, what I'll fine. do is, um, let me just get the slideshow up. Every one second. But Ahmed, you need to go through with Chris. Because unless yeah. people realise the importance of it, he's hugely great, uh, sorry, hugely important to be able to show people the 3D version because you can open up the floor, Chris, and then go inside the floor, pick out the unit that you like or other units, whatever, and have a look through the views. It shows everything. It's a brilliant tool. Look. Here you can is. see this here, right? There we go. Let me just... Um, yeah. Can you yeah, turn that? Is it active to turn? No. Um, yeah, correct. So you, you can just click through it. So this is the current, this is the tower that we're looking at one West Point. Just, just to give you an idea, we can click on here. You've got the floor plans coming through um, wow. and we can simply just click on it. And again, should be able to, sorry, my screen's a bit. Show view down there on the right, right side at the bottom. There you go. Show view. Show view, there we go. And these are the current views. Wow. Uh, okay. And this is just, um, this is the West facing aspect. Um, obviously you can see the Wembley, Wembley arc there as well. Uh, but look, this is something you guys can play around Take with. Take them downstairs into the commercial area as well, I think, because it's hugely yeah. important to show. And it's such a great thing. Come yeah, out there. Need... There you yeah. go. Yeah, well, we'll get that on the portal. And um, maybe you and I, Ahmed, we'll do a quick yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. recorded, recorded one. That go, we into can the then night, on. go into the select homology and go downwards, yeah? Yeah, let me just look, clear this up. Go to the... Are we doing it here, Ian? Yeah, good. 
Oh, I, I'm not sure how you do it. Select our project. No, no. This is live, <laughs> folks. This is let this show is live. Yeah, let me. Uh, what I'll do is um, <laughs> I will I will I will send you the links across for this. Um, I'll do a little um, training and go through it with um, with no, Chris. This is go on to the front of the building. Go back to the front of the building where you had the the full view. That's it. Yeah. Right. Now go. You can go around to the front of the building. Turn it, turn it around. Okay, the round. There you go. Okay. And now go into the bottom section here. There you go. There you go. go. There, you there, go. Go. <laughs> there you go. And again. And so you can see. On, in, yeah. Click, click on those and you've got all the interiors of them and showing you exactly what goes down in that particular location. And this is the restaurant which will be located on the ground floor as well. So again, the facilities will be. I'm sorry. Um, Chris, I will share this with you. Um, I'll go through it with Great. you as well. I'm um, in the private, so obviously we can go through it properly. Um, but yeah, th this is just one of the, the marketing stuff that we have, um, which you can go through. It's, you know, we've got amenity spaces, you've got press coverage, you have location. It's everything there that you would need to just make you, you know, help you guys make a decision on the unit or the development or the area itself. That's great. Very, very clever tool. So thank you. As I said, it will be recorded. It will go out. Ian, lovely to meet you. Robert, nice to meet you as well. Ahmed, you see too. you soon in Dubai, I hope. Uh, yeah, thank, you everybody. thank you, everyone, for jumping on. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you. Sounds good. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Bye. Ian. Cheers.